Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Angel, I love talking about influencers, who they are, where they came from, why they're on our For You page, weird things we find on the internet, and anything else that I feel like talking about. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my videos and make sure and give this video a thumbs up, it does help out my teeny tiny channel. Today we're reading more fan fiction. We are continuing the read of Rude, a Colby Brock fan fiction by the username here, because once again, I don't want to butcher the name. And today we are on chapter three. If you guys have not seen the first and second chapter, I'll link it right here or right here, whatever. I'm still new to YouTube. I don't know what side it's on. I also... I'm looking at a mirrored version of myself and I already don't know left from right, so I definitely don't know what side it's going to be on. Finally, Samantha comes home and you tell her that Sam wanted to hang out with her today and she literally busted your eardrums. Okay, girl, calm down. I can't, okay? I'm calm. Ah, no, I'm not. Just me and him. You cup her face to calm her down. Ho, oh, shut up for one second. Look at me. She looks into your eyes. Don't act crazy, clingy, or weird. She nods and you smile and let her go. Her head flicks to the door and she runs to it as she hears a knock on the door. You giggle, she leaves, and you make yourself some ramen and happily eat it. Just then, your phone vibrated. You look over and see an Instagram notification. You click on it and see that Colby's girlfriend followed you and sent you a text. You open the text and read it. Hi, I realize you are following my boyfriend, and ho, if you don't unfollow him, I'll kill you. <laughs> you laugh and reply, I don't even like your boyfriend. He's rude. I was forced by my friend because she is dating Sam and wants me to get along with Colby. I don't like him. No murder is needed, hon. You send it and instantly get a text back. Sure. I don't believe you. He's mine, so back off. Gladly. Just unfollow me and I'll unfollow him. He's no need to me anyway. You unfollow Colby and she unfollows you. That was so weird. Anyway, back to my beautiful ramen. If she is talking about the prepackaged ramen, that is not beautiful. You slurp your ramen. You hear a knock on the door, so you set your bowl down and go to it. You open the door and see Colby. What do you want? You lean against the door frame and cross your arms. Um, where's Sam? He's out with Samantha. Why? He puts his hands in his pockets and invites himself in. Hey, you close the door and he looks around. What are you doing? You cross your arms again. Uh, I need your help, he says and licks his lips. With what? I'd rather not help you. He looks worried. Okay, I need girl advice. You chuckle. Girl advice for what? You uncross your arms and walk to him. I, well, my girlfriend is mad at me and I need help to cheer her up. You're the first girl I thought of, so please... He gives you his puppy eyes without even trying. You look away. Okay, I'm not really good at giving advice, but try to talk to her and comfort her. I did that. Well, what's wrong with her anyway? She saw you were following me and that I followed you back. She won't talk to me. You bite your inner cheek. Maybe try kissing her some. It doesn't have to be on the lips. I'd, I'm not good at advice. I can't even get a boyfriend. You say and he smiles. Okay. Also, how about new, what's that stuff girls put on their face, foundation? You giggle. Don't try so hard. If she can't accept you for what you want to do, you don't need her. He smirks a little. Are you saying that I should break up with her? You shake your head. No, I'm not saying that. Just if you're not comfortable with her controlling you, you don't need her. He walks past you. All right, thanks. I'll leave. He opens the door and looks back at you and gives you a sly wink. <laughs> You blush. Me too. You blush and he closes the door. What the f*** did he just do? He winked. No guy has ever done that to you. You stand there dumbfounded for a while. You watched a little TV and fell asleep. One week later, oh, one week later at Sam and Colby's. If you haven't seen my first video, that's my thing for asterisks, and I don't know why. You and Samantha are sitting on the couch with Sam and Colby waiting for Elton and Corey because you guys are all going to do an overnight in a haunted, sunken city. You sat beside Colby because Sam and Samantha are cuddled up on the couch, taking all of the room. So you and Colby's arm practically touched. How much longer, you ask, and everyone looks at you. 
I'll text them, Colby said and opened his phone, revealing a picture of his girlfriend. You get a little jealous. You look away and sit back. They said they're pulling in right now. You all stand up and hear the front door open. Everyone comes in and are surprised to see girls. Girls? Man, bingo, Elton says and high five Sam. Is this your girlfriend, Sam? Yeah, she's cute, right? He nods and goes to Colby and high fives him. Elton looks at you and smiles. Is this your girlfriend, Colby? Your eyes widen and his do too. You look at each other. No. You both said at the same time. What a shame. You two would be so cute together. He shakes his head and walks away. You blush from embarrassment and look down. Colby does the same, but walks away from you and talks with his other friends. Let's go. Corey yells and you wince. You all get into separate cars as you came and Samantha just had to sit in the front beside Sam. Colby sat next to you and put his seatbelt on. He looks at you and rolls his eyes. You give him an innocent face. What? I did nothing. He smiles and you put on your seatbelt. He pulls out a black beanie. No, don't put it on. Boys with beanies on turn you on and make you like them, especially if they look hot in them. You look away and look back at him, fixing his hair as he puts on his beanie. If you can hear any crunching in the background, my cat is eating right now and I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. She's a hungry girl. You blush. He looks so cute, yet hot at the same time. You didn't realize he was staring back at you. He flicks your nose and you flinch in surprise. You look away and blush more, holding your head down. Don't look at me too long. It's weird, he says, pulling out his phone and taking pictures. He looks frustrated and pushes you. You slightly yelp. You're in my pictures, making them look ugly, he says, and mumbles something else. I would cry. Sorry, you say, scooting away a little. He sighs and turns his phone off. Are you done? You ask because the seatbelt is digging into your neck, making a red mark. You scoot back and he looks at your neck. He gulps and you cover your neck. He's looking because it looks like a hickey. Nice. Wow. You haven't even had your first kiss yet. Is that a hickey? You ignore him, but look at him. He bites his lip and looks away, looking a little jealous. You sit back and close your eyes. Ooh, Colby's POV. A little bit later, you look over to Rachel sleeping. She pulls her feet up, curling herself into a small ball. Why is this cute? You ask yourself and she lets out a small snore. You slightly giggle. Colby, wake up, Rachel. We're here. You sigh and shake her shoulder, and she groans. You shake her more, and she places her hand on yours lightly. You blush and let her. You smile and poke her squishy face. She groans and opens her eyes. You pull your hand away from her, and she glances up at you with pretty eyes. Wait, Colby, what are you saying? She's cute? Pretty? No, you have a girlfriend. She puffs out her bottom lip and sits up. Are we here? She asks you. Yeah. She looks into your eyes, giving you a lot of butterflies. You look away and blush. Chapter 4. Can we just talk about Sam? He has a tampon in his nose. Oh my gosh. I think that's related to the, the like chapter picture. Rachel's POV. You undo your seatbelt and scoot closer between Samantha and Sam. So what do we have snacks-wise to eat? This is mainly the reason I came. You joke, earning a laugh from both of them. Yes, of course. Rachel, do you mind carrying the backpack of food? He asks, and you nod. It's in the trunk. He pulls them out of the thing, I forget what it's called, and gives you them? You get out of the car and go around to the trunk to open it. You see the backpack and grab it, tossing it over your back, and go to his side and give him the keys back. Thanks, he says and steps out of his car. No problem. You put on the backpack and fix your beanie you wore and pull up your pants because it's a habit. This is Rachel's. Why is Rachel also wearing a beanie and pulling up her pants out of habit? Do we have to climb things? You ask looking around the view of a bunch of rocks. Yeah, don't get scared ugly. Colby says, passing by you to Elton's car to help him with stuff. You snicker and roll your eyes. I won't get scared. You mumble and look up to see Sam and Samantha looking at you. You smile. We're ready, Sam. He looks over to them and you all start walking with the group. Colby stays in front with Corey and Elton and Sam and Samantha are also in front holding hands as you stay in the back looking at the place. It's dark so you can't see much except the fire from people hanging out. You were walking and you almost fell over a rock causing you to slightly gasp. You look up and see Colby looking back a bit and you lock eyes for a moment as he looks away. You rub your arms and blush from embarrassment. Guys, look at the cool view. Time to record a video, Elton says, getting his camera ready. You see the ocean and stare in awe. That's so pretty. You say quietly and continue walking. You try avoiding the camera, but you had to be the spotlight of all people. 
So Rachel, tell us what you think. You seem quiet and alone. You look at the camera. Well, I am quiet and alone. You giggle. But it's really cool to see the ocean at night. I like it. You smile and he turns the camera away. Thanks, Rachel, he says, interviewing the lovebirds. You all stand there talking about stuff, except you, of course. Let's go visit the people with a fire and talk. They seem fun, Elton says and walks to them. More people. Yay. You walk behind and get there and take off your backpack and sigh, leaning against the big rock. Everyone starts making the fire bigger and all laugh. Hey, who's that cute girl over there? A random guy asks and you look up to him, pointing at you. That's Rachel, Sam says. Is she single? Your eyes widen and see Colby, who's sitting on top of the rock you're leaning on looking at you. He looks back at the guy. No, she's mine. I would simply pass away. They all look at Colby and stare at him in shock and look at you. You push yourself off the rock and pick the backpack up. Can we leave and explore more? It's getting boring as hell, you say and start walking. They all follow behind you and catch up. What should we explore now? Corey asks. Let's go down there. Elton points the camera down to drop. No, everyone says. You wanted to leave because Colby said that and it made you mad? He's so rude. He's confusing. Rachel, are you okay? Samantha puts her arm around your neck and looks at you worriedly. Yeah, I'm just bored and want to eat. Okay. She hugs your side and goes back to Sam. You sigh and continue to walk. Guys, this will be our resting area, Elton says to everyone and the camera. You all sit down on the rock and sit where Elton talks to the camera. All right, how about snacks? Elton says and points the camera to you. You hand him the bag and ask who wants what, and it all turns into a joke where Colby gets all the food, causing you to sort of laugh from the stupidity, and Colby glances over to you and smiles, turning his glance back to the camera. You hug your knees and stare at Colby talking to the camera. You look away and stand up. They all look at you. I'm just going to walk around for a bit, you say. Okay, here's a flashlight, Sam says and throws you a flashlight. You catch it and turn on the flashlight and start walking. You hum a song and hear footsteps behind you. You turn around and flash the light to a person and yelp. Shut up, it's just me, stupid. You recognize it's Colby and you sigh. Why are you following me? He stands in front of you and puts his hands in his pocket. I just wanted to say what I said back there at the campfire. I didn't mean, I didn't want that weird dude to date my best friend's girlfriend's best friend. He smiles as he stuttered over words, making you smile. Okay, thanks. He takes your flashlight. Hey, follow me. He grabs your wrist and runs. Where are we going? You say running with him. Somewhere with a good view. He takes you to the edge of a rock high above the ocean. Whoa, you say enjoying the pretty view. Sit, he says and you both sit down. Your legs dangling over the edge and you lean back on your hands. This is a nice view to be honest, but why'd you bring me here? He looks over to you and does the same position you do and smiles looking into your eyes. To tell you something. You furrow your eyebrows. What? He bites his lips. To tell you how ugly you are. You sit up. Off, idiot. Let's go. So freaking rude. You both head back and they all look at you. Hungry, Rachel? Elton holds out a bag of Doritos and you take one and smile. Thanks. You sit down beside Elton and quietly sit there while they all talked. Colby, how would you rate yourself in bed? You flinch at the question asked by Elton and look at Colby smiling. I literally didn't even flinch reading that because I just, I feel like this is literally exactly what a Sam and Colby video is like. You flinch at the question asked by Elton and look at Colby smiling. I've never did that before, but my guess, I would probably mess up your feelings. He glances at you and everybody yells and nudges him. You roll your eyes and rest your chin on your knees. How about you, Rachel? You glance over at Elton and puff out your lip. I'm still a virgin. I've never even kissed a boy. They all smile and you hide your face. Shut up. I'm a little pure. You say and smile out of embarrassment. If you want, Colby could help you. You shoot your head up and show your head. Why would you ask that? He has a girlfriend, idiot. You say and glare at Colby. Oh, don't put out. We all see the way you guys look at each other. All cute. You sarcastically laugh and pull your beanie down over your eyes. I won't cheat on my girlfriend. She's special to me. I'm not a cheater. He says, making you sigh of relief, but doubt. He's cute, yet rude. Thank you so much for reading. If you did, don't hate me. I'm not a very good story writer. I'm just an ordinary girl who likes BTS, Sam and Colby, and food.
of course Wattpad too. Bye. Okay. I really want to read more, but I think for now we're going to stick with two chapters of video. How long is this story? OMG. This is 19 chapters. Okay. Well, we'll reconvene next video. Maybe I'll read three chapters. Who knows? Like I said in my last reading the fan fiction story, this is absolutely no hate to the author. If you can tell, I'm kind of getting a little into it. I love Sam and Colby. I, at this point, I would kill to be in Rachel's position, even if it means Colby calling me ugly. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the story so far in the comments down below. Like I said, make sure to subscribe and give this channel a thumbs up. It does help out my teeny tiny channel and I'll see you in the next one.